In this tutorial, we'll write a Java program to calculate difference between two time periods. Uh, we will create a separate class for it. Let's say we have a class time, and this class has three attributes: seconds, minutes, and hours. Okay, and we create its constructor time. And this takes seconds, minutes, and hours. And we assign this dot seconds equals to seconds. This dot minutes equals to minutes. And this dot hours equals to hours. Yeah. And we create a method. Called public static, and this will also return a time data type of object. And we say difference, and this will also take time, uh, starting time, and time data type of uh, stop time. Okay, two uh, time intervals, and it will uh, calculate the difference. And to store the uh, time difference, we need to uh, define a time variable, and for uh, creating its constructor. We will need to uh, us, uh, give it three values because time construct constructor basically takes seconds, minutes, and hours. So in the start, we uh, give zero 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 because we will uh, actually calculate the difference and assign it. So uh, now time for calculating uh, the difference. Okay. So uh, first thing uh, we need to do is, for example, if start in the start time we have um uh, let's say uh, 40 seconds okay and in stop time we have uh, let's say 20 seconds then our difference will be uh, 20 minus 40 equals to uh, minus 20 so we don't want that okay we don't want that we don't want uh, seconds and minus so what we will do over here is we will minus 1 we will take 1 minute and convert that into seconds so we will have uh, 60 seconds plus 20 so uh, 80 seconds minus 40 so this will basically give us uh, uh, 40 seconds and we if uh, start had let's say 5 minutes then we will deduct 1 minute because we converted that minute into seconds so what we will do is we will put if condition if uh, start time dot uh, seconds are greater than stop time dot seconds then we will say minus minus uh, stop dot minutes and we will add stop dot seconds plus equals to 60. So what we did is we basically deducted one minute and converted that into uh, seconds. And once we have done that, we will uh, say ta uh, difference dot seconds equals to stop dot seconds minus uh, start out seconds there we go and we will do the same for a uh, minute as well so if uh, start dot minutes are greater than stop dot minutes then we will uh, minus minus stop dot hours we will uh, deduct one hour and convert that into um, minutes so stop dot uh, minutes plus equals to 60 okay once we are done with this, we will say difference dot uh, minutes equals to stop dot minutes minus start dot minutes. Okay. And difference dot uh, hours equals to stop dot hours minus uh, start dot hours. There we go. So finally, we have uh, calculated our uh, seconds, minutes, and hours. So uh, we just return our uh, difference, difference uh, object, which we created. Okay. So now we have all of these. We want to uh, basically uh, use it. Use this class. To use it, we need to create two uh, time objects so that we can call time difference function and give it. So I have time object. Uh, start time equals to new time 
and I give that's a 10 hours uh, 30 minutes and 15 seconds okay and I give my I create my stop time equals to new time and stop time is a uh, uh, 15 hours uh, 10 minutes and 5 seconds let's say okay and I want to call if difference function then I will say um, I have time data type of a, a difference difference equals to uh, I can uh, use any reference so I can say start dot difference function and I'll give my start time and stop time okay this will basically return me difference which will be stored in this difference and finally I will print it and I'll say I'll say uh, I'll say time difference this will be uh, our star time I'll first go uh, with the star time so D and person D and person D so this will be our star time minus minus our stop time for stop time I have person D person D and person D okay and this will be equals to person D person D person D person D okay and we give uh, first we want our start time so start dot hours then start dot minutes and then start dot uh, seconds okay and so uh, these three very values will be assigned to this 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 so this is start time minus I want stop time. So now stop time dot us stop time dot uh, seconds and then stop time dot uh, not seconds over here but minutes. Okay. And then I want start not start but stop time dot uh, seconds. Okay. So these stop hours stop minutes and stop seconds will be assigned to this so this will be printed something like time difference equals to and start time minus stop time equals to now difference time so difference dot hours and difference dot uh, minutes and difference dot seconds okay so far so good let me run and see if uh, this works or we did any mistake okay okay so oh, oh i think there is one mistake that we did uh, we need to take first hours then minutes then uh, seconds so i'll exchange these hours hours minutes then seconds let's rerun it okay perfect now we have a uh, our time difference something like that so time difference is uh, um this four hours and 39 minutes and 50 seconds okay so uh what we are basically doing is uh, uh we have created a separate class for the time and in this class we have three attributes seconds minutes and hours and we have created a time constructor we are taking hours minutes and seconds and we are assigning all of these into our three attributes already created seconds to seconds minutes to minutes and hours to hours and we have created a uh, function called difference and this is basically taking two time objects start object and stop object and also returning the time object so to calculate the difference we need to we need a time object so we have created a time object of a, a, a variable name uh, called difference and uh, what we are doing over here is that uh, we are checking if uh, uh, start seconds are greater than stop seconds then uh, we are minusing one minute we are deducting one minute and converting that into seconds why we are doing so because we want to subtract stop seconds minus start seconds so if start seconds are greater than this uh, seconds will be minus we don't want that okay 
to uh, to uh, adjust that difference we want uh, uh, we want to convert one minute into a uh, seconds okay so that uh, uh, that our stop seconds are always greater than start seconds so we have calculated uh, the second difference and assigned it to the difference dot seconds and then we have uh, we are checking again if uh, the same issues with the minutes if we start dot minutes are greater than stop dot minutes then we are uh, converting one minute into uh, one hour into uh, minutes so we are uh, minusing one minute one hour and we are adding 60 minutes to the uh, stop minutes and finally we are calculating uh, minutes and assigning it to the difference dot minutes and we are also calculating hours and uh, assigning it to the difference dot hours and finally we are returning our difference object so uh, then we have created a uh, two time objects start and stop in our main function that's where our execution basically starts whenever we run the program so uh, time one object is this time two object is this and finally we have passed these two uh, time data uh, uh, objects to our difference function and we have called our difference function with star dot difference or you can call it with stop dot difference or even with time dot difference with the class name so you can access uh, attributes of the uh, time class with time dot difference as well so time dot difference start stop we have given this this will basically calculate the difference and return as a difference object which will be a time of data type so that's why we need to store it into a time data type of variable so we have created one with the name difference now since we have difference variable we are basically uh, calculating uh, we are just printing the uh, start time minus stop time and equals to uh, these or you can just print out your time difference basically uh, by not making so many complexities like this so if you run this program there you go your time difference is this 4 hours 30 9 minutes and 50 seconds okay okay so i think so far uh, we are done with this program and i hope you have understood something and if you did please subscribe my youtube channel and i will see you in next tutorial with a new program